This is the Epson Artisan 700. The Artisan series from Epson uh, is probably my favorite printers, primarily because they allow me to print my own CDs and DVDs. The, the printer has a tray instead of rollers. I found on a lot of other printers that have the rollers, they wear out over time, where the tray seems to work much better. Uh, I've printed quite a few CDs and DVDs with these printers. Also, I use a continuous ink flow system because the Epson does use a lot of ink. Some people say you can't use the ink flow systems with the Epson because the lid will print a pinch the tubing. However, if you take a small Dremel or a file, you can remove a small piece of plastic and the tubing will fit quite easily. On top of the printer is the scanner. So it's a multi-function uh, printer. You can scan with it. However, I hardly ever use any scanning uh, with, this with this printer. Um, you also have the card slots where you can add cards from your cameras to add photographs. If you use non-manufacturer's ink in your continuous ink flow system, you may not get the same skin tones you would normally get on your photographs. Um, but if you're not printing photographs, the cheap ink works fine with your continuous ink flow system. And like I said, the great thing about the printer is if you're an artist, um, if you a uh, musician, if you write books, you can put out your own material on CDs and DVDs and put them on eBay and have a small business on the side. Um, you own the means of production. <laughs> it's, it's, I've, I've purchased this uh, refurbished on eBay for about 60 bucks and I've purchased several other printers inexpensively on eBay the same way. Um, it's, it's a very good printer. Um, oh, one other thing is all printers after a while the waste ink goes to the bottom and eventually they'll stop working and they say you need to take it back to the manufacturer. This particular printer, the Epson Artisan, has a uh, access on the bottom where you can remove uh, the waste ink pads yourself and you can uh, wash them out and dry them and reinsert them into the tray and get going again. Um, there's a little tubing, a little uh, plastic container there in the center. Some people um, put the tubing through a hole uh, on the side of the printer and have a separate waste ink uh, container on the side so they don't ever fill up their wasting pads with the excess sink. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a very nice printer, it's inexpensive and it allows you to create items that you can sell. Thanks for watching my videos. If you like them, please subscribe. It just takes a second and it really helps me a lot.